Good morning, Internet. The camera is set to low light, but I am still going to increase the light because we have these things to increase the light. And I, uh, to tell you a bit about my morning, uh, I woke up at 1.45 a.m., which is not unusual given when I have been waking up in the past. And uh, I tried to not take any anti-anxiety pills for as long as I can until I crawled into bed with my girlfriend at um, 5 a.m. and I whispered, I'm really anxious, there's stuff around those lanes. And uh, she said, take the pill, you definitely need it. Um, so I did. And that means I took one more pill, I'm trying to cut down, and I had cut down by one, and now I'm back at the original dose. So I made a failure. Um, well, not a failure. I shouldn't punish myself for something that I guess I needed. And I don't know the chemistry or how how to properly get off. I don't know any of the science behind any of that. So, I just had a Coca-Cola and it is 6.30 a.m. and um, I'm going to practice guitar and I'm pretty sure this is low enough not to wake my parents because I've done this before and they don't wake up. And so I'm not a disturbance. I also have neighbors. I don't really talk to my neighbors, but I think they're, if they do hear anything, they haven't complained. Um, yeah, so. Walk my coffee. What? Coffee. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have to watch. I do not knock over the coffee. And this patch cord is only so long, and I'm trying to position my chair where I'm definitely out of the way. So once again, you can't see my guitar, but I have it. Um, what do you think I need to... should I do a tune? I don't know. I'm gonna... I've decided I'm gonna tune every three times I pick up the guitar from within the guitar case. Because that seems in tune. And right as we speak, uh, someone's on Facebook giving me advice. And uh, I've asked him and I've asked another guy who is helpful, probably the only people who are watching, um, not to give me too much advice because there's only so much advice I can take at one time. But I did, uh, out of that advice, I did find this good website. It's www.all-guitar-chords.com. And uh, so that will give me a lot of things to play with. Uh, it is very complicated looking, but it'll get, <laughs> I don't know. It, you know, uh, I'll learn something from that. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess you just have to learn as much as you can. And I, it's been suggested I learn music theory. And I'm sure that would help. I don't really know what music theory is. Uh, all I know is if I learn to play different chords, which my friend says these chords that I'm learning, they're called shapes and shapes aren't important to him. Um, but I think if I do learn this stuff, I can, like if I learn it off by heart, I can play around with it. And then if I learn more shapes from the website I just gave you, um, then, you know, I'll have more that I can play around with. And I don't know how much I can keep in my head. I imagine I'm, go I'm gonna have to start practicing longer and longer each day um, as there's more things to go over uh, until it's just like ingrained and 
what we're what we're talking about here is a multiple year <laughs> like this will happen over many years and there are many lucky 14 year olds who start 16 years ahead of when I started and so <laughs> they've probably got all this stuff down by now and uh, they are uh, they are the correct age to die at 27 so I'm older than 27 I probably won't be good enough by 33 which is Elliot Smith um, and, and I, I'm just joking about the death and suicide I, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon there, I have it in my head that I'm going to live till at least 60. It's not based on anything, it's just an intuition. Intuition? Yeah, I keep mispronouncing things because I'm slightly anxious from the coke, even though I just took the anti-anxiety pill, but yeah. <sighs> You'll just have to know that I assume you, even though I mispronounce things, you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I'm not worried about death. I, I thought I, I'm probably going to live to uh, at least 60. And so if I practice guitar until age 60, then I'll be as good as a 30-year-old at age 60. And what good is that? I don't know. But I guess it's more for myself than anyone else. Which is advice that um, pretty much everyone not, not, it's not like every single person says that, but I've heard that so many times from d different sources that you should do stuff for yourself. Like, uh, like art, I guess you'd call it artistic or creative things you should do for yourself and not for other people. And also you shouldn't compare yourself to other people. Blah, blah, blah. This is seven minutes of me talking and not even playing the guitar. So, sorry about that. I'll get to work. supposed to be in music. That's why I didn't want to mute, because whenever I mute something, my thumb has to wrap around to the top, and um, for, forming the fingering is a lot easier if I keep the thumb. I'll show the camera. So, if my thumb's like somewhere around there, it's a lot easier to wrap my fingers around. But if my thumb has to also do that, you see I have less length to move. And I don't think I have small hands. Um, you can see my hand. I'm 6'2". I don't know if you can, in your head, imagine how big my hand is. Maybe, maybe it's not a large hand, but whatever. And this, you can see this guitar versus my hand. I think I'm suited, like, to the guitar. The guitar is alone, but, so if I bought something else, maybe I'd have to get into, like, a conversation with the uh, store people about what was best for me, which at this point, remember I said I was on anti-anxiety? At this point, I'm not really into that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so...
the yeah, piece of advice that I was given was um, I was doing too much of ar arpeggios, I believe they're called, which is an arpeggio is when you play one string at a time, is what I was told. And apparently there's people who want to go as fast as they can. It's a form of metal to do that. Um, but commercially it's not very successful. And that's kind of funny because I'm definitely not interested in this for a commercial reason. Um, but uh, the only reason I am doing this is to see if my fingering is in the right position because I can hear how each string responds and when I hear okay I just heard a mistake there I don't know if you heard it that sounded right so now I know that's right um, so he was saying like I'll, I'll purposefully position myself to make a mistake like that that was way off compared to what I showed you before but he said if you want to just like jam he said you can just play around with it like that and uh, if you like how that sounds who cares if it's not the right way so, yeah, I, a lot of the advice I get from people is sometimes they say like, oh, you got to do it the right way. And then sometimes they say, well, you just got to figure it out for yourself and so you just have to be dirty and um, perform dirty. As I said in my previous videos, I've pretty much got those chords memorized and down because they're all very similar and it doesn't take much to cha to move between them. It's especially not difficult to move between because that's just one finger that is like practically in the perfect place to go down. Um, You're in the perfect place to go down. That's what I said. Yes. <laughs> so let's do something else. So that. That's in the C shape. And again, since I'm not. That's supposed to have a mute. And since I'm not supposed to mute, or I'm not really capable of using my thumb to mute, um, maybe if I practice a long time, maybe that's something I should be trying to learn, but I'm just disregarding it. So, um, since I'm not using my thumb to mute, another skill, this is my left hand, this is my left hand, this is my right hand, the right hand is strumming. So another skill that I need to develop is that's all the strings. That's the first five strings in reverse order because that is the highest string. And the highest string is the first string. And the lowest string is the lowest string. But I like to strum down it's just my preference. I know, how to, I know how to strum up. And I'm using my finger, I'm not using the pick. Everyone's telling me to get a pick. So like, very important, get a pick. And uh, uh, I was kind of against it before, but now I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll do it. I just killed the feedback. But what I did, I don't know if you heard the buzzing throughout the video. I didn't even notice it myself. But what I did is this thing 
this thing when it's over here you can hear feedback when it's here you don't hear feedback and I don't know the other difference it makes besides just that it sounds slightly different I think but uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> all the functions of the guitar it has uh, volume I won't show you just take my word for it there's uh, three knobs one of them's volume and two are tone and I don't know what tone means I, I mean I guess it means that the guitar sounds different so So that was me playing around with the tone, and I guess there was some variation, and I'll try the other knob. Yeah, that one's a lot more obvious, and I guess that's just preference. Um, or maybe, I wonder if that affects the tuning, I don't know. It doesn't matter. So I think I like it there. Uh, I'm. I feel like I'm talking quickly. And another piece of advice I got was you get this fight or flight reaction to the fact that the camera's on. Um, and I'm fairly comfortable with the camera by now. I think I've been filming myself for a few years, and uh, I've stopped. I'm out of character. Like, if you go back into my older videos, I would make a funny, I'd try to be funny by modulating my voice or whatever, so. Uh, this is more or less my normal voice, depending on who I'm talking to. And, uh, I'm just a little anxious, but I don't know. I don't think it matters. Uh, I think... some of the time, and getting it wrong some of the time, and uh, I'm tired, I'd, <laughs> it's 6.50 a.m. and I'm getting tired, uh, I, I guess I have been up for five hours, so um, when I'm done this, and don't worry I'm not done, if you're really enjoying this, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's like really enjoying this right now, but I'm kind of enjoying it. So, um, just note to self, make coffee after this is done, and, uh, what the hell? Oh, too low. So you see what I did there? I strummed the two strings, the two strings that weren't muted, I didn't strum them. I had to concentrate and look, <clears throat> but, uh, what is, do you want to say something? No, I was just coughing. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Uh, it's harder to strum what I think is backwards. I think of that as forwards. <coughs> You're supposed to do both ways though. I know you're supposed to do both ways, but when I'm muting the two top, the two bottom strings, uh, 
it's harder to go up without hitting the last two. It's easier to miss them if I... Can you tell what I mean? No. Okay, maybe the, maybe the other person on the camera, the little midgets inside the camera. <laughs> uh, I don't think... From what I hear, I, I, I don't think people are offended by that word anymore. But I... Apologies if I offended you. Uh, because I don't know who you are. You could be a green blob from space. So I'm sorry if I'm not supposed to call a green blob from space a green blob from sp I don't. I'm just making it worse. Uh, so, so, G chord. It's that special time when I get angry. Okay, even though that string is a little bit muted when I do that, that's pretty much right, and that's pretty much right on my first try. So let's just do that one more time. You see, I should not talk and just, <laughs> if I get something right, don't talk, don't, don't explain that he got it right. Just keep doing it and it's right. So there's another I was confused by something. On this chart it says G, and I don't know if there's like something called a natural G, um, but on the website there is another thing called G major, which I can... Oh fuck, I clicked an ad. <laughs> okay, G major. This is actually a little bit more complicated than, I don't know what R means. Maybe the site is not meant for me. Oh, well, the only difference, I don't know what R means. I'll figure it out later. I'll. When I'm more rested and peaceful, I'll look at that site. Um, but the, the chart I have now tells you the best way to put your fingers, and uh, that site doesn't have that to my knowledge. Um, didn't we just do this one? Yeah, this is the one where yesterday I was complaining my ring finger doesn't bend that way. can do something different by putting my pinky finger there, which needs a callus. A 
I feel like I already did this earlier in the video and it was no problem. So why is it being a problem? No, I did C and this is D minor. Okay. So, which one do we want to use? Maybe both of them. I feel if I were more rested, I would be more in touch with my body, and um, you see I'm focusing my mind on doing that. Well, basically I have two hands, and I can only focus on one hand at a time with how rested my mind is right now. Um, so... Did we do D? Ah. I'm sorry if this is annoying. What are you to do? Mommy? No, it's not annoying. Okay. Okay, normally this is not so difficult. So maybe since I'm maybe stressed out or tired or whatever, I should just focus on the easy stuff that at the beginning of the video was easy. I guess you can get burned out, burnt out, um, like practicing when you're tired. And by that I don't mean burnt out to the point where you want to quit, but burned out to the point where you're not able to learn good things. Maybe, probably the harmonics that I have, and I remember I was tired yesterday and the harmonics were messing me up, but probably the harmonics, this type of thing, 
Is it that easy? Oh yes it is. Maybe that kind of stuff is easier with a pick. So let's see, 30 minutes and seven of that is talking, so I'm I'm sorry if you didn't like the talking, if you came here for guitar, and but I have 320 or 19 subs, and they subbed when I was screaming like a crazy person. So maybe you do want to hear me talk. So yeah, and I, and I, and I was told I should, I'm breaking the fourth wall. I was told I should not say it's good or bad what I'm doing. I should let the audience decide. Not valid, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. Bye.